Hi, it's Dennis from the world famous Bunny Ranch, and uh, we're here to talk about my show today, HB Ho Cat House Thursday nights. And I brought along my good buddy. What's so your name? I'm the convicted felon. You may have heard of me. I was arrested a very, very long time ago for running um, the best, uh, most lucrative sex operation on earth. So I'm teaching Dennis a few things. Yeah, yeah. I need, I need to learn how to sell sex. She's gonna teach me how to do that. After eight million satisfied customers, I'm, now I'm, now I'm finally gonna learn. This was kind of fun. Heidi Fleiss was the Hollywood madam. Yes. She got busted, went to jail for being, uh, you know. Uh, whore monster. Well, she wasn't paying taxes and stuff, all yep. that stuff. But now she's out of jail. She's leading a straight life, and she hooked up in a relationship with Dennis Huff. Dennis is the guy who runs the legal whorehouse, the, the chicken bunny ranch. ranch. The bunny. The bu bunny ranch? Moonlight bunny ranch. Moonlight bunny ranch. He runs the bunny ranch out in uh, Vegas. So the two of them are a couple for real. There's Heidi. Wow, there you are. And there's Never Dennis. Seen her a lot. Hey, how you doing, baby? We got braces? Hello. Yeah. What, 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 you're too old for braces. Well, prison, uh, let me tell you something really quick. Get on, the, get on the mic. Hey, Dennis. Hey, Heidi. Nice to see you, Howard. Hey, good seeing hair you style. too. Oh, thank you. Braces, let me tell you something about the braces, real quick. In prison, when someone has a toothache. They don't get in the way. No. And so there's a tooth, they, they go to the prison dentist, they come back without a tooth. Right. So I would panic and start scrubbing my pearly whites and scrubbing. Because you didn't want to lose your teeth. Exactly. Right. So I see a dentist naturally right away when I get out, and my dentist says, Heidi, what were you, how, you scrubbed your teeth so hard, you scrubbed the enamel off. Right. And it's causing an overbite. So she fixed it, braces for six months, and I have my pearly whites back to perfect. So you have to wear braces for six months. Yeah. Oh. I, have, I have three months left. It's a drag when you know, like when you're a teenager, you can get away with it, right? It's a pain in the ass when you're older already. To of course, I'm it. supposed to do Oprah. I can't do it with braces. When are you doing you're Oprah? Doing Oprah, the full hour. No kidding. When is that? What's that going to be about? My new uh, brothel. Oh, Oprah's yeah. promoting the brothel? No, she's not. As they yeah. say, uh, her producer says, we are not going to glamorize uh, prostitution. I said, well, is any job truly glamorous? Uh, is a dentist job? Is a you know? Is your job truly? My no, job they're, is. They're grueling hours. <laughs> Dennis, how did this happen? That you and Heidi Fleiss. This is like Michael Jordan and Shaquille O'Neal, uh, you know, Incredible. playing together. Uh, no, no, no. Look, first, right. first of all, you know, I have the worst taste in men. Bad luck, but you we were going. Let's re recap. recap. Last time yeah. you were here, you were on with Tom Sizemore, who was your boyfriend at that time. Uh, you allege that after the show, he took you home and beat you to a pulp. Do you know what happened? Because remember you asked me, Heidi, how, did you like Black Hawk Down? I yes. said to Heidi, do you like, she came in with Tom Sizemore, who was starring in the movie Black Hawk Down. And I said, Heidi, do you like the movie? And Heidi goes, no, it was horrible. And Heidi, you went to the premiere? Oh, yeah. yeah. And, did, we, did you bother watching the movie? It was my moment of Beatlemania. Did Heidi, Heidi, have you seen the movie or you didn't even watch it? I hated it. it. But I hate oh! Rid, uh, Ridley Scott and did a beautiful job oh! filming it. Woof, Jerry Bruckheimer, uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm so, just being honest. It's all the shooting and fighting. And right, well, uh, so, like, so, uh, you didn't uh, like the movie. Like she's humor. wild. Do you find yourself 50% of the day, 60% of the day, shutting Heidi up and telling you to shut No, she shuts me up. I talk way too much. Really? Heidi, you're very honest. You, did you tell Tom you don't like the movie? Right away. Tom is on the phone. No. Would you speak to Tom? Uh, of course. When is the last time you spoke to him? He came into my store a few months ago. Uh, okay. Tom. Tom. Hello. 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 Is that really him? Howard, how are you? Is this a, is yes. this a, Tom. That is Tom? Who cares about this? I'm here with Dennis because I have terrible choice in men. <laughs> And so, uh, <laughs> I, 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 I had such bad luck, either, I had to go on se Dennis, sex, you know what you're in search for? Dot com. Yeah. Well, you're, you, Dennis, you're way out of your depth. Tom. Why do you say that, Tom? Number one, she's the, the brightest gal I ever dated. I agree with that one. Right. Number two, she's incredibly funny. And number three, she's disarmingly charming. Tom, do you want to propose to Heidi right now? No, no but... I would like to propose to you. <laughs> Tom, is it true you have a giant tattoo of Heidi's name above your private parts? That's got to be... <laughs> <laughs> is that true? Doesn't he have well, that? Well, I have now had the Disney, the, the Disney insignia next to it, and I say that I'm a fan of Show Doesn't, Temple. Didn't Tom have the name Heidi written above his Yes, I do. I do. Because I, do. No, I said, Tom, if this relationship doesn't work out, you got to look down every day and see what a big mess you made. You want to show it on the air? This is the place to show it. Yeah, what do you got? What are you talking about? A birthmark. Oh, you got a tattoo, right? 
if well, I they move, said I don't. The New York Post. When I, I said moved I, in with him, tattoo. Howard, yeah. I said this. I said, if I move in with you, I'm really changing my whole life. It's a big commitment. Yeah. And if something oh. goes wrong, you have to look down and know <laughs> what <laughs> oh, to my, to my life. That's misspelled. So what did you do? You went and got tattooed. No, I can't spell. You got the word Heidi tattooed on your groin. In the Disney. Well, it's not exactly the groin. Uh, do you shave your pubes? Is that what's going on over there? <laughs> Tom, no, what's up? No, he's like an Oriental. Oh, he's really? You don't have much hair, do you? That was the rule for getting her to move in. She had, th- she had four rules. The tattoo, yeah. don't lie to me, don't lie to me, Nuh-uh. and don't lie to me. Tom, listen, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to uh, say <laughs> thank you for calling in. Uh, Goodbye. Goodbye, right. Tom. Uh, hey, Tom, th- Tom, good luck with your children and your fiance. Well, there goes well, Tom. Th- I just wanted to get I just wanted to give him a comp. You know, uh, how about this? A little bit. All right, let me let me get this interview under control because it's it's out of control. Yeah, no one understands it. I understand it, but I'm the only one. Yeah, and all Dennis right. does too. Heidi flies. I heard all the you, stories. Heidi, you know about being a madam. You were, a f- you were you're the most famous madam on earth ever. Dennis knows about being a madam. He is the, He's most, the famous most famous madam, a uh, legal <laughs> madam. Robin. All right. I How love you, Robin. Dennis, are you? Making love to Heidi flies now. Uh, it, yes, in fact, a few hours ago. No, so you are no, lovers. No. Now here we go with another dispute. <laughs> See, how do because you know? Because I, I wouldn't wish myself on on. I don't want to. You're cause not making love to Dennis. She's, she tells people that she's she uh, has the worst oral skills in America. Don't you believe it? You know, once she's much we did better it than once. the, than you the did porn chick I was with. Once, Heidi, are you Dennis's girlfriend or not? I'm doing. I'm opening a brothel in a different county. Okay, but and are you going out with the great Dennis Huff? I wish. She has too many girlfriends. I'm a jealous type. Why is she denying it? Well, we, we, yes. we, can't, we can't date in Tulsa, uh, Rome, or Hollywood. What? Here's what I can tell you. In the green room, no cameras, door shut. I knock on the door and I open it up. Dennis is sitting on the couch. Heidi is straddling him. Whoa. While I'm talking to them, his <laughs> paws are all over her, and she does not seem uncomfortable. No, there was a button on his pants. I'm sewing it back on. Oh, my. All right, so you two are a couple now. <laughs> no, there's an- another... <laughs> no, pimp, what, are you embarrassed? There's another pimp in Nevada. I mean, a gentleman, yeah. uh, Joe Richards, and I'm doing a business deal with him, with, where that's where my brothel will be so in So what's that county. got to do with whether you and Dennis are... There's politics involved, Rob, and I'll explain it to you. She can't admit it in certain places, but Why? I can tell you this. She's a great lover, Howard. There's Howard. politics involved. She's a great lover. You've made love to lots of women, right? Lots. You know right. that. And you're saying Heidi is among the best. Oh, lots yeah. of pros. Much, much better than, than the, the porn chick I was with. Much better. Really? Believe me. No, Howard, I am on the worst sex on earth. I can't even give a... Like oral, I can't do anything. I'm horrible. She's the best. Why are you denying your relationship with Dennis? I don't, I don't get what because everyone's up to today. I feel like so everyone's uh, taking uh, wacky pills. Get the relationship no. out of it. Let's just talk about sex. Maybe she'll admit it. No, because mm. I'm up at a brothel in a different county. So what? There's politics involved. How? You're not allowed to advertise the county I'm in if you own a brothel. There, Dennis is a publicity machine. Right. They don't want Dennis in the county where I'm in. What? But De- no, Dennis owns a brothel in another county. Yeah. I know. What's it got to do with you going out with him? Because if I, they're afraid that I'm going to come to their county and be a Dennis Hoff and be but all you over are. the place. You're going to be a, you're going to be a, uh, no, a, a madam. No, Tom just told you how bright she was. This isn't making sense. No, you're not right. going to publicize your new brothel? I'm going to retire from public life after uh, Oprah. How are you going to get business if you, if you don't publicize? I never advertised before. Oh, well, that's true. You well, the have thing, the, the thing best? that will make her successful is that she didn't rat out all these guys. She could have made millions doing that, and I give her a lot of credit for that. And I, I think because of that, she will have enormous success. Heidi, do you think you can be successful as a legal madam like you were operating illegally because you had a business in Los Angeles? Will people fly out just to have sex at your place? I've researched it. I've been researching this for actually over a year, and it's a very complicated town. There's a, the religious factor, the greasy palms, etc. I talked to former clients. What would be their comfort zone to make them leave here to go to Nevada, in the middle of nowhere? Obviously, the hottest chicks on earth, which I will have, and complete privacy. It's all about privacy and Yeah, no pleasure. one wants to be discovered. So yeah. it's going to be discreet. We really won't hear about it anymore. How Absolutely. will it be You're discreet? Let's say I want to be with a hooker. Yeah, okay, no, no, let me let t- t- okay. t- t- take me through this. I'm going to take you right through it. All right. Howard, when you I was I in, when, If I was in L.A. and I called up Heidi Fleiss when you were back in your heyday, you would get a party going or it wouldn't be obvious that I was going to a hooker. How am I going to get to your brothel with and, and walk in there and still keep my anonymity and still keep things private. How do you plan on doing that? Because I'm the best madam that ever lived. Howard, you'll call me up. Go you ahead. want to come in. I'll fly you in. Right. Uh, you go straight to your own bungalow. 
no one sees you no record of it and uh i t- can tell what kind of guy you are howard private and, guy yes and i will send over probably four to your bungalow you'll like maybe one to pick what you like that's it and that's all it's over nice. we, no one ever knows no one knows no one knows we do it daily howard what we do is is blacked out limos and excursions things like that come into a garage uh <laughs> the garage really shuts and they come inside yeah he we do it. so if bill time. clinton or president bush wanted to have sex at the bunny ranch right they now they could do it they could do it and get away with Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Really? And, and, and yes. That's How much of, money a does a very it, famous it couldn't, Why do you say no, Heidi? Dennis Operation, he's smarter than me. He's offering something everyone can afford. And his, actually, out of all the brothels I toured in Nevada, Dennis is by far superior. It has a very warm, open, welcoming feeling. But you do, they have a lineup, you see each other. Right. There is that. But he does have a special way for special people to get the So privacy. you have a different philosophy. You're going to go real high end. You're oh, going to go high, for the, the Hollywood types who have big money. Bigger than Hollywood. Howard you are the wealthiest Howdy people on earth. So yes. if, I bring him if the head of Viacom. There you go. All right. Talk or about or let's say Les Moonves. Exactly. Wants to cheat on Julie Chen, his exactly. new wife. It'd be no problem. No, he could, and you Julie could, would never know. You, she would never know. You You're could hook his him up. Girl. You'll hook him up. Hook him up. He'll he'll come there. He'll think he went to heaven. What are the caliber of women you can promise me? Something like you never seen before. I can, I can tell you. Penthouse Ten, pets? Oh, bigger. Play, what do you mean bigger? Off That's the cover of Seventeen magazine. I'm Models. Uh, models, if I walk through a Miss, Miss USA pageant, they follow me out yeah. the door like a pipe piper. I, really? I, I, I watch it, Howard. I, Dennis, what can you offer Les Moonves? Well, I, I, I bring him porn stars, over 500 uh, porn stars. You're telling you can get Playboy him 500 playmates. porn stars? And Playmates. And playmates. And, playmates. and house pets, Huster Honeys. Now, Heidi takes it from there. If you want the chick on the cover of Seventeen magazine or Miss Alabama, she's going to get it for you. I've seen her in action. The girls love this girl. They love her. Do you ever feel guilty? About what? Heidi that you're leading these girls into a life of prostitution. Well, actually, Howard, I'm a bit of a hypocrite on this uh, subject because I don't believe in prostitution as a career. Right. If I had a, had a daughter, which I don't, I wouldn't want her to be a prostitute. But, but I think of it this way. You give it a six-month run, that's it, and you're out. Right. And use it as a stepping stone. Use it to, you, So you don't have to uh, walk the streets. You don't have to be on a casting couch. You use it. To, I, the girls that work for me, they make a huge amount of money. And they have to use that money to further themselves, to go to college, to get a career, so that they are the shot callers, so they are not don't have to compromise themselves. All right. Dennis, yeah. are you now not making love to any other women except for Heidi Fleiss? Is this an exclusive relationship for you? It's getting closer to that. He's such a liar. Why? You say he has sex with other women? All the time. Not all the time. I'm backing off. Yeah. Back, uh, the, the truth is... Are you in love with you, Heidi? Would you I like have Heidi a, 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 a an exclusive relationship? Yeah, I've done it before. I have mean, what, ha- what happens is... Are you in love with closer, Heidi Fleiss? I, I think Heidi's wonderful. Are you in love with Heidi Fleiss? I'm getting real close to that. <laughs> real close. And Only so, close? so is she. She just doesn't want to admit it. Tell That's me you all. can't live without me. Tell me you love me. I, I heard. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know what? Here's the. We're so opposite. I mean, she uh, she doesn't like chicks to start with, which really right. surprised me. Right. It, and I'm a lesbian magnet. And lesbian magnet, and she doesn't like chicks. Me too. I'm, I'm used to having threesomes every day. That's what I do. Right. Right. And Go for uh, it. So yeah, there's a, there's a problem there. Go you for it. You don't mind that he makes love to other women. I'm not. It's not my boyfriend. I'm not with them. Uh, I'm, hard, I'm just a hardworking girl, Howard. Robin. I'm just I'm gonna a hardworking girl. I'm going to have to show you some girl. text messages. When is Heidi Fleiss's new brothel, this exclusive brothel, yeah, where even Les Moonves can it. sneak in? When will this open? It's been a very complicated process. I don't want to bore you with it. The best case scenario, I can be up and running in four months. Worst case scenario, eighteen months. So when it, are you going to be on Oprah? Um, well, they're on a hiatus, so I think in August they're back. And, uh, the, you know, it's a very complicated... I mean, to get on Oprah's heart. Does this less like kinky stuff? And Less like kinky stuff, yes. Because we've got that. Yeah. I, I have a bondage room, too. I'd like to he, he wants to be no, tied he, up. He, with a, with a, he, bond- he, he wants to be hogtied, he told me. No, no I like ball, the... F- ball gag? <laughs> no, no, I, I I'm using him as a theoretical yes. example. Yeah, yes. theoretical, like a uh, toe fetish. Just kidding. Right. Now, uh... Um, what can I get at this new thing? I can get super hot models. The hot, you'll I be sent the, to heaven. I can be sent to heaven. I have complete anonymity. Howard, you work all day. You're exhausted. You don't have time to go dating. Kinky stuff that. I can have. I'm not into anything that's degrading to women or, uh, you know. Having sex with me is degrading. <laughs> so any famous actresses will show up there? Any famous actresses? Let me tell you, the girls that work at my place, 
will become uh, get more acting jobs than any girl who's a agent works at CAA. Do you act? Uh, you, you get what I'm saying. I see. Now, Dennis, you are on a whole nother level. You have a TV show on HBO tonight at 11 o'clock, Cat, Cat House, House, which details the goings on at the Bunny Ranch. Yes, and I want to thank you because the ratings have been outrageous. How I'm sure been. they have been. It's an interesting topic. But let me tell you something else to be unique about mine. The bungalows, I'm going to pick 20 of the top designers on earth, and they're each going to give, I'm going to go, here's 1,200 square feet, knock yourself out. In other wow. words, when I walk into the bungalows... You'll have a Versace bungalow or what? I'll pick 20 of the absolute top. Very high end. Oh, Donna Karen. They're going to be just... They're going to be... It's Donna so, Karen? Well, you, it, hey... There. You You're gotta, saying classy. Y exactly. But it's going to... There's going to be a flavor to mine. It's going to be... It sounds like you're almost putting down what Dennis does. No, no, he's smarter than me. Dennis makes... Oh, Look, if you want to spend a couple hundred or a couple thousand, you're okay. Right. You know, you're not going to get... This is all high end. You're not going to get a, a, a Playboy playmate for a couple hundred, but you're going to get some very hot chicks, and in, in if you look... You so know, where's Heidi starting site, at, like 10000 Heidi, what's it going to cost me? I want to fly... Here's what I want to do. I want to fly in for the weekend. I want to have... Uh, I want to rent out one of the Versace room for a weekend. I want to have uh, three actresses at my disposal. You don't want the actresses. You don't need that attitude. You want uh, ones that maybe will become actresses. You right. want girls that can weed a... Starlets, then. You don't I want, want three them to read a wine list yet or, can, no. or know what Manola Blancs are. You don't no. need that. I want three young starlets. You want the hottest chicks. Hottest chicks. Just off the bus. Right off a magazine. Idaho or whatever. Uh, for the weekend. <laughs> What's it going to run me? This is the part I'm running over my head because, look, at I was arrested in 93. Inflation. Ballpark me. Okay, how much does it cost to join uh, the fanciest golf course? Probably a hundred eighty thousand dollars. Oh, you're kidding! It's way year. over. For to be year. on a waiting list is three hundred grand. Right. So mine's gonna be, and that's golf. So Tell me what sex. it's gonna cost me to have three hot chicks the weekend in the Versace room. Probably fifteen grand. Fifteen grand. Yeah. That's a bargain. But that's where will bad. you start? Somewhere around five. I'm gonna take that myself. Well. Start, start at five thousand. So, Robin, those are some figures that I'm still Dennis, playing with. Is she unrealistic? Is that too little money? You got to pay the girls. You got them tied up for a whole weekend. You got them in the Versace room. There's overhead. Fifteen grand sounds light. Well, I, I, thought, you know, I thought that she, I thought her business model was flawed because I, I thought, is there that many guys with that kind of money? And, uh, and now that I'm around her a lot and I listen to the phone calls and the people that are calling her, I'm going, oh my God. They do she, have that kind of money. She's got some very heavy, heavy duty people calling her. If I have sex with these girls all weekend and theoretically I want the girls killed at the end of the week, <laughs> is that what's that going to run me? <laughs> well, first of all, do you do that? Do you, do you handle that for me? Uh, obviously, or do I have to at, do it myself? Look at, confidentiality is not a problem. Okay. I went down. I went down alone. Right. No. I you will go down alone. alone. She won't even admit <laughs> we're having sex. Right. You can't get anything out of her. And you and uh, make the witness I, I want to make it clear that it's about privacy and pleasure, and uh, that will be respected, and and that's why uh, it'll be successful. Everyone. You want to know something? You're coming up with something very unique here. I'm going to change the way America views sex. Wow. It's not just, you know, relax. It's just sex. Uh, America gets so uptight about it, like all your FCC nonsense. It's crazy. It's crazy stuff. It's crazy what's going on. Have either one of you ever employed a girl who went on to do anything in showbiz? Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, Have you ever employed so, so someone? So now I'm supposed to... Uh, Heidi doesn't name names. Yes, I'm not asking skirt. for names, but has has anyone who used to come to your parties in the early days gone on to become a, 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 a very big star. television or movie star? Or on well, any level, yeah. Both? Well, yes, yeah, yeah, so, sometimes I'm watching TV you, and I go, well, they look familiar. Then Dennis, they, you do? Well, my, I've had girls g hook up with some absolute billionaire, high-profile people that you'd know the names right. and, and, and marry them. And, uh, and they never found out Never found out they worked at the ranch because it's all confidential information. Wow. Do any of their names rhyme with Tangelina Boli? <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, look at every... Uh, in my eyes, it's easy because every girl is a hooker, in, or every one is a hooker in one way or another. Well, I'll say that of Robin, yes. <laughs> well, that's not true. That's true. Oh, come on, we all... Uh, someone compromises yours somewhere, some, you know. She's well, she's got the, some of the stories. Do you feel that of Robin? I don't. I think Robin earns her own living. She doesn't uh, have sex She's a men. sellout. These guys she's are compromisers right here. These are the sellouts. R Robin's a trainee. <laughs> do any of these girls' trainee. names rhyme with <laughs> Benefer Lannister? <laughs> <laughs> How much would it cost to be with Robin at the Versace bungalow for a week? Oh, I get she won't keep her mouth shut. That's the problem with her. Uh, I'm a talker. Oh, some yeah. guys know how to handle that. They would line up for Robin. Everybody loves if it. I asked guys you, know the, the, if lay I asked you... Lay Heidi, down with your head down. If I told you that I'm attracted to a particular actress, a, a well-named, you know, a well-known actress, 
And would you try to work that out for can me? Can you hook it up? Can you? Th do you think that's you what can she's at her best at? That's what you're best. Like no, if I said no. to you, I have to have Jennifer Garner. You could do that. Get her. I could pull away a married woman. <laughs> what? Wow. Yeah, she can. Wow. She can pull a chick faster than anybody. We were out in Hollywood one want? night with with John Potter from Blues Traveler and Ronnie, Ronnie and, and her and I and this the hottest chick you ever seen walked by. We're all looking at her and she walked right out and drug her right out of the limo she was in. Wow. Brought her back in. Could you bring me Lindsay Lohan if I need her? Even the, those little cute little twins. The twins. Can you get no, me? The Olsen no twins. No I'm pretty problem. sure I can get those on my own. Yeah. Nose flippable. Uh, she's right on the cusp. Who is uh, the chick from Lost that you like? I bet you could get her. Uh, anyone. I'm looking, I'm looking can for you triplets. get me the girl from Lost? The, yeah. the dark-haired girl. I, I'm telling no girls turn me down. But can you get me the Vulcan girl from uh, Star Trek? Oh yeah. yeah. How about the Desperate Housewives? I'm sure a lot. Get of me all four. Oh yeah, those girls. You know, they're so lucky because you know they had it once really big. Then they were all. Down and out. I remember N N Nicolette Sheridan. Didn't she break the? She was a, <clears throat> the. I'm going to ask you something. If I was really kinky, and I wanted to have sex with a nun, could you get me that? Why would you want a nun? They don't even shave. It's, listen, I don't even want to talk about <laughs> we'll it. We'll shave. I, I, I get it for you, though. You could get fetishes. it. Canale. No one's turned me down. Bottom line. Heidi Fleiss, our old friend who comes in from time to time, is on the a very big venture. She's about to open up a very high-end brothel. What will the name of the brothel be? Heidi's Place? Heidi, Heidi Fleiss's yeah. Paradise. Let me tell you, congratulations to you both on finding love and finding this new <laughs> business venture and everything else, and uh, the Bunny Ranch and, and uh, Heidi's Paradise. It's all very exciting. You know, maybe maybe she could buy the bunny ranch and let me just go hang out somewhere. <laughs> Come back and see us when you have the paradise up and running. Heidi, Dennis. Hi. I'm just a quiet, shy girl. She's not <laughs> shy at all. She's not shy, and she won't. She don't want to cop to. She's having sex with me. That's what it is. No, Heidi, you a problem was, with that. that was, Heidi, I don't that want. I don't have a hundred curls at the bunny ranch. Trying four to hours me. He's ago. Trying to get me killed. He's four trying to get hours me killed. ago. Why wouldn't you admit that you were having sex with? Me? He's trying to get me killed. Do you think I want all those girls that are, he's having relationships with me? They'll My girls want to jump in with you. Forget oh. that. They all. They all want to hang with her. They all want to hang with her. Hi, now, Heidi, that was some argument with uh, Tom. Side no argument. Only now. love, baby. It's all about peace and love. Were you surprised that he called in? No, I'm surprised he's up at this hour. Oh, well, he probably didn't sleep. Now, now, do you think, you know, at the end of the argument that you guys settled your differences or you think uh, you'll always be uh, estranged from him? I'm not estranged at all. It's I think just, they should get back what? together. I'm not estranged at all. Pretty when pretty a relationship good. ends, it ends. But you don't go ruin each other's lives. You, you know, just, does that make sense? Yeah. I, I really don't have hard feelings. Look, he'll never get his convention. His conviction hard feelings? I could, feel, I could feel the tension. You could cut it in the room. What are you talking about? No, of course but, you guys got hard it's, feelings. No, it's hard to understand what he's saying. <laughs> Well, it's, you know, it's I mean, not hard to figure out that you two got this going on. No, there's no, actually there's you none of that. Try you having can, sex again. No, fact, please. Huh? I, no. Let's film it. No, oh my God, I'm huh? like strapping it on. How would that be? <laughs> <laughs> uh, did you have, Heidi, did you have a good time in there? I was a great time here. You guys are wonderful. Heidi yeah. always has a good time. Her life is a party. There's always something crazy going on. I love always, Dennis. Always. Dennis is a, Dennis is my oh, dream. Oh, did you hear that? Tell, so, her, tell so him again. So now you're again, officially honey. saying that you're in love with Dennis. Yes, but, oh but when will this air? This might ruin my brothel license if this comes out. Oh, she's this so afraid. Ruin, Why would that ruin your brothel license? It's because it's you're dealing with small town, different thinking. It's very complicated. Yeah, we, we, we don't date in Perum, Rome, uh, Tulsa, or Hollywood. It's just Every for, place else is sex, sex, sex. I have sex, another sex, active sex boyfriend, Al places. Sapienza, too. It's going to, you know, you can't be... How many boyfriends you've got? Only you, baby. You're the only one that matters. She's sweet. She knows how to say the right things. Only you. All right, Heidi, do you want to give Dennis a little kiss for us? Yes, uh, say goodbye. Like, just, just like, tell him, just show him how you know. I love you. my Dennis. Oh, baby. I love my Dennis. Give him a little kiss for us. I'll help you. I'll do it, or else I'll get in trouble. Oh, she is too much, this one.